This video will show you how to install the V6 bucket on the light. Let's get started. These are the tools that I used while modding the console. You can get them from AliExpress, but if you cannot find the required ones, please google it or substitute it with other brands. First, make sure the console is healthy and works fine. You can check the firmware version, but it is not essential because hard modding works on any firmware. Now let's turn off the console. Remove the microSD card and the game card if they are inside the console. Get the tri-wing or the Y00 screwdriver and begin removing the shell screws. And use the Philips 00 screwdriver to remove the rest of the screws. Then use a plastic opener tool or your fingernail to pry the shell. Rinse all the ZL or the CR button if you accidentally detach them. Remove the screws that is holding the metal shield. Then lift the shield carefully. Use the plastic opener tool to detach the ribbon cable. And disconnect the battery. Now remove the heatsink. Clean the CPU metal shield from the existing thermal paste. Then clean the surface with IPA wipes. Remove the game card slot. And now we will remove the CPU cover. Use a straight pin to unlatch the micro locks. Then use your sharp tweezer to pry and remove the CPU cover carefully. Clean the existing thermal paste from the CPU. In this video, I will use this mud kit along with the light FPC kit. And this is how the mud kit and the light FPC kit installed. Apply a small blob of flux to the shadow pads. And then thin those pads. I use the Heco T12 JLO2 soldering tip to get it done. Clean those pads with IPA. Re-add a small blob of flux to the solder pads. Get the light FPC, line it, and solder the pads.
clean those pads with IPA. And now we will install the CPU FPC kit. Clean the row of caps with IPA. Get the CPU FPC kit and align it to the caps. Drop a blob of flux to the solder pads. Then solder it. I use the T12BC1 soldering tip for this task. And then clean the pads with IPA. Cover the pads with a 5mm captain tape to avoid getting short. Clean and remove the existing thermal paste from the CPU cover. Use a spudger along with IPA or a PCB cleaner solution to get it done. Get a bent nose plier and flip the metal lock inside according to the video. We will make a passageway for the CPU FPC kit. Use a spudger, IPA, or a PCB cleaner solution to clean the existing thermal paste from the heat sink. Clean the existing thermal paste from the metal shield. Use the IPA or the PCB cleaner solution and wipes to clean the surface. The next step is to cut a small opening so the mod kit won't get pressed by the metal shield later. I used a marker to show the proper opening location. Get an electrician scissors and cut the shield along the line. Then use your finger to move the cut area back and forth until it is separated. Get a bent nose plier to flatten the cut edge. Okay, we are done with the metal shield. Apply a small blob of thermal paste to the top of the CPU. Then reinstall the CPU cover. Get a double sided tape and stick it to the back of the mod kit. Align and stick the instinct annex to the CPU cover according to the video. And then connect the FPC kits to the mod kit. Connect the battery and reconnect the flex ribbon cable. And turn on the console. During the training process, the mod kit will display an LED pattern. You will notice intermittent green LED lights among a series of pulsating yellow LEDs. Towards the end of the process, the LED will blink purple and it will end with a green LED. And you will see the mod kit logo on the screen. Press the power button to turn it off. And now we will reassemble the console, but it is better to disconnect the battery once again to avoid damage. Reinstall the game card slot.
apply a new thermal paste. And rinse all the heat sink. Cover the mod kit with a layer of captain tape. Reconnect the battery and the ribbon cable. Apply a new thermal paste on the top of the heat sink. Then rinse all the metal shield. And then reinstall the back case. And now we will test the console. We must put the boot pack inside the micro SD card. Download the latest head spec and extract it to the micro SD card. Reinsert the micro SD card into the console. And turn on the console. Congratulations! You have successfully installed the V6 mod kit to the light using a special FPC kit. The next step is to follow my other video about how to set up the console from scratch. See you in another video.